Hello, you're welcome once again on this channel. Just as the topic reads, you can get kidney failure from these drugs. This is the topic of our discussion today. Before we dive into the discussion, I want to thank my subscribers. I want to thank you, my viewer, my returning viewers. I want to thank you for watching this video at this time. Kindly share this video, share this video you are watching. So that other people can learn from this. This is an important topic that will help most of us. It's an important topic, very, very important that most of us will benefit from. Because we have found out that it's a routine that uh, these days people will get to buy drugs for one condition or the other to help themselves. So in this video, you are going to learn drugs drugs that can cause you to develop kidney failure drugs that can cause somebody to develop kidney failure and why do people take those drugs why are they taking those drugs they are common drugs in our environment in our society taking world over in my previous video i was discussing drugs that can cause you to start vomiting of blood. I want to um, highlight something that I have said there in the previous video. I must tell you that uh, vomiting of blood for us, for us doctors, is a medical emergency. That somebody is vomiting blood is a medical emergency. So it's not something taken lightly when you hear that somebody is vomiting blood. That is why that previous video is very important. If you have not watched that video, concerning drugs that can cause you to start vomiting blood, can you do and share it to your loved ones so that they will know that this is, these things are possible. These are things that can happen. And when they happen, we may start blaming one or two persons instead of blaming ourselves. Do you understand? So that is the essence of this uh, channel. I promise all that on this channel, we are going to learn a lot of things concerning our health, importance of exercising and pressing issues so today we are going to dive into this our discussion what can make you to develop kidney failure you can get it by doing these things I'm going to say now now what used to make you to buy drugs what used to make you to buy drugs to help themselves and this drug what are they needed for if I am having joint pain maybe waist pain, some of our daddies, some of our mamas, some of our uncles, then have it, they'll be having a waist pain, um, some will be having osteoarthritis or the knees, and they'll be buying these drugs to relieve pain drugs to relieve those, uh, those pains they're having. Do you understand? These are some of the things that can cause somebody to buy some of these drugs, some of these routine drugs. They are called uh, over-the-counter drugs they are called over the counter drugs so now when you take this drug for a long time when you take them for a long time well, what are these drugs actually because we're like saying it we're not mentioning drugs i have mentioned some of these drugs in my previous video the diclofenac the profen the prosecam name them they are a class of uh, non steroid anti inflammatory drugs and they are being taken for pain relief so when you take them for a long time when you tell them a lot of time, what happens is that they will go into your kidney and they will prevent your kidney from producing a biochemical substance. There is a biochemical substance in your system which is needed for your kidney to function very well. So when they go into your system, they will destroy that substance. They will prevent your kidney from, prevent, from producing that substance. By so doing, the kidney will not be getting enough blood because this substance that is in your system help the kidney to get blood because as blood is going into your kidney your kidney will be filtering them and be removing bad bad things bad bad substances in your system so when you take this drug for a long time they will go and destroy this substance from being uh, prevent this substance from being produced so when it is no longer produced what will happen the kidney will not be getting enough blood just imagine yourself now not and uh, not getting enough air Imagine you not getting enough air. The kidney survives by the what? By blood. The kidney you are seeing, you have, you have in your system. 
survives by blood. It's blood that you have that helps your kidney to survive. So when your kidney is not getting enough blood, it's going to shut down. It's going to go down. It's going to die. It's going to die. Do you understand? So, so when you take this drug for a long time, you, it's going to prevent your kidney from working. From working because the blood that is supposed to get is not getting it. Do you understand? So you don't need to take them for a long time. That's why I said the essence of this video is to enlighten us so that we know that if you have something that is, uh, um, let me say, something like osteoarthritis, something like chronic pain, waist pain that's there for a long time, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? What you have to do is to go and meet your doctor. So that even if your doctor is going to put, uh, give you um, some of these drugs, even if your doctor is going to give you some of these drugs, he will be giving you the drug and be giving you some other drug that will help you to help your kidney to function. And also help to monitor the way your kidney is working. Your doctor will be able to monitor the way your kidney is working. But if you are taking it on your own at home for a long time, you may not be able to monitor yourself. You cannot monitor it yourself there are, there are some basic things that your doctor may request you do based on the fact you are having this pain do you understand and there are other drugs as well which your doctor can also give you apart from these drugs to prevent you from having pains do you understand so that is the essence of uh, this video so you don't take this drug for a long time if you must take it go to your doctor let your doctor prescribe the medicine for you and then tell you how to use them so that is the essence of this video. Thank you so much. I want to thank you, my returning viewers. I want to thank you for joining me and, and for watching this video. Kindly, if you have liked this video, if, if you have liked the, if you have watched this video and you like it, kindly hit and like the uh, like the video so that other people will see it and then share to other people so that they can learn from this uh, channel. And then if you are not subscribed, please do subscribe, share my video, share my link so that other people will, will learn. I want to thank you so much for joining me and do the needful. God bless you.